Everybody's heard the story about the Bedouin boy who clambered up into a cave and discovered some jars and some old leather scrolls. He didn't see them as having much value, but eventually collectors discovered their great value. And yes, they were authenticated. Carbon-14 had just been invented shortly after World War II, and it was discovered that these scrolls are 2,000 years old. There's a group called the Essenes. We think it probably means doers of the law. And these Essenes were critical of other ruling priests in Jerusalem. And so they looked forward to the coming of a Messiah who would then clean house, as it were, and overthrow a corrupt priesthood, fulfill prophecies, and exalt Israel among the nations. The importance of the uh finding not only the biblical scrolls, Isaiah, for example, and also other scrolls from Qumran and with this group that was here, is, is that it raised the expectations of the coming of the Messiah at that time. And the fact that we were able to put our hands on this and hold in our hands the actual text that they were reading back at the same time that Jesus and his disciples were alive, show that the text was was uh, a standard text that is preserved in our Bibles today. The Dead Sea Scrolls do relate in a very significant way to the Christmas story. One in particular found in Cave 4 says that the coming Savior of Israel will be called the Son of God, Son of the Most High, who will reign forever. And what is said of this coming Son of God is very, very close to what the angel told Mary in Luke's Gospel. فقال لها الملاك لا تخاف يا مريم لأنك قد وجدت نعمة عند الله وها أنت ستحملين وتلدين ابنا وتسمينه يسوع. Yes. 